back once again to another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. This is another video tutorial of using Photoshop Elements. I am your host Jack. If you enjoy this video tutorial, please go over to jackstechcorner.com and check out all the great high resolution DVDs I have available for you. Uh, I now have available a Volume 1, a Volume 2, as well as a Mac volume for you Mac users out there. And you also available as a two disc set or a three disc set. So, you know, check out uh, that's jackstechcorner.com and pick up a copy of the DVD today. Then you can have uh, a lot of great video tutorials on how to use Photoshop Elements. And if you're using a Mac, it also includes iPhoto 09. So it gives you a little bit more experience with using iPhoto 09. Okay, with that said, today I thought we would go right into uh, learning how to create shadows. Now, shadows, a lot of people email me in the past and say, Jack, how would you do a shadow? Shadows are tricky in the fact that, you know, we take a picture in a studio or we take a picture um, and we just want to give it some more depth, so we want to add a little bit of shadow. So I'm just going to show you a real easy uh, shadowing technique that I like to use. And, you know, if you want to adopt it, that's fine. If not, you know, maybe you can learn a little bit something about it and, and pick up a little bit on your own. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I, I've chosen um, one of the green screen pictures I've done a while back just to make it easy to cut the uh, person out so we can do some shadowing. So we're going to throw this up in our full editor. And as always, the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this background image. Then I'm just going to go to Filter. And yep, I'm going to use uh, Ken's program, Green Screen Wizard. Remember, if you're looking for Green Screen Wizard, go to my website, Jack's Tech Corner, pick a copy of that up. Just click on the, uh, the graphics on the home page and uh, pick up a copy for yourself. This is Green Screen Wizard. You see how it does a nice job. I told it to output as transparency information. And we looked at this before. I've done some videos on Green Screen Wizard. But it just it's, it's really nice and it's quick. Works really well. Um, it saves me from having to use the quick selection tool or you know some other way to uh, select or either that or magic extractor I was talking to somebody the other day and they said how would you cut out a picture from a busy background I said use magic extractor so that's a thought also you know it was funny because I was telling my wife I got an email from somebody the other day it said Jack you talk too much well you know what I would say try to do these videos and actually not talk you know that would be kind of that would be kind of hard. I don't think you would learn much if I didn't talk to you uh, as I went through these videos. Maybe I should have put that in my survey. Do I talk too much? Okay, so we have this actually uh, cut out, so we don't even need this anymore. So I just turned that off. See, so I just got rid of the green screen, and now we have our transparency background that I like to work with. Now the next thing I wanted to work with was I want to create a new background. The reason I need this new background, let's move this on top of that. And remember, we do layering because this is on the bottom, so that's the background, and that's on the top, that's the foreground, right? Click on this, and oops. What we're going to do here is I want to select a, a black. Yeah, we we'll, won't we'll go that black. Let's go that black. And I'm going to select the paint bucket tool, and we're just going to fill this with black. All right, now we have a black background. That's what I wanted to start with. Now I want to show you how we can actually do some basic shadows. And you know, I, I'm going to get a lot of emails on this. Uh, this is the way I do it. It's you know, it's up to you to plan out your own way to, to do these things. But like I said, you may want to adopt this. So we have that done. Next thing we want to do is go up here, and we're going to duplicate this. Well, first, here's what we want to do. We don't even want to duplicate the whole thing. I want to do a control click on here. And now that I just have uh, the person selected that I want the shadow to be of, we're going to go to Layer, New Layer, be a copy. Okay. And the reason we did that is I don't want this background because we're going to fill this layer, is what we're going to do with this one. So with that layer selected, Uh, we don't want to invert that. What we're going to do here is we're going to take and use a white. Yeah, let's go more white. 
and with that layer 2 selected now what I can actually do is I can actually grab my brush tool up oh, you know live videos I told you they'll get me all every time right all right so we have this selected layer 2 is selected and you just want to paint with white okay now there we go we just painted that with white now to get that selected let's go back I want to show you this just to make sure you have this because you know getting ready for this tutorial took me a little bit of time right on the layer itself hold your control key down and do a click that does an easy selection of whatever's in there and remember the we made a copy of just the person here then I grab my paintbrush I change my paint to white okay I grab my paintbrush I raised it up it doesn't matter how big this thing is here look how big that is watch when I go over this because I have that selected we're only painting in the selection and that's the only thing in that selection there's nothing else in that layer it's all transparency background but we cut the person out all right pretty dramatic but I wanted to show you it's not going to go outside the line so you can just paint right in there and it works out pretty nice now once we have that done we can simply go deselect and then with that layer still selected here's what we want to do let's do image transform and skew now with that skew selected we want to actually just kind of move this around a little bit not too far up you know you want to make it look as realistic as you can i shut this off for right now Let's get it back out a little bit more. And a little more. Alright, quick OK. Now with that done, it looks pretty weird because this is actually in front of the person in the background, right? So again with the layers, let's just move it up. Now click on your move tool. And you want to get this person kind of put in there. Alright, you can even pour up a little bit now. Raise her up a little bit and pour up a little bit forward. Okay. That's pretty dramatic, but I want you to see that you do have a shadow. It almost looks like a silhouette right behind him. So there's a problem with that is your shadow is actually too overpowering. So click back on that layer and drop your opacity. Right, you can actually drop it down even more depending on where you want it. It's still filled white, it almost looks gray now. You can even take this uh, person on the top here and you can drop that opacity if you want, just to drop it down, blend it in a little bit. Okay, now that is how we created our shadow. We now have a shadow, it looks like her face is lit. I'm sure I shot it with a flash over here on the face anyway, so. But it threw a shadow on the backdrop. A lot of people asked for that. Look, it even came underneath the arm here, so the shadow worked out really nicely. Now I was playing around right before I started this video and I thought, alright, so can I show them another dramatic way to do this? Let's take this and shut this off for a minute, create another layer, and this time let's fill this layer here with white. So let's go all the way up here, as white as we can possibly get it. Let's dump white in here. Alright. Now that's not going to work because it would, we have to go through all these steps again because the shadow was white, right? Let's think, I wonder if this will work. So if I click on here, and I did a control I, okay, watch, I'll do a control I again, it's gone, right? The shadow's gone. But remember, control I doesn't invert. So it's white now, so we'll fill it with black just by inverting the white to black. And check that out, it worked out pretty good because we got the shadow in the back there. Right? And on white, it even looks more dramatic. It actually looks like it's falling back off of her. It looks like it's a shadow. It's dropping back. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you before I go. You know, I like to always throw things out there. Well, let's take this again. Invert it again. There's the shadow back. Pretty cool. 
is we can actually make this more dramatic by rendering and do some lighting effects. We've done lighting effects in the past. But you know, you could do this. We can actually get this lighting effect going on here. We could spotlight her and that will actually make it look like the shadows coming down. Right? Yeah, it looks like that's the wrong way actually. Let's spin that around. Alright. Pull this back a little bit. Alright, you want it to look like she's more lit, but we don't want to make it too dramatic and take out too much of the black, right? Let's click OK and see what happens. There you go. So now she's lit, it looks like there's more light coming from this way, so maybe that's why the shadow's there. That's why the shadow dropped back on her like that, so. I just wanted to throw that out there. I thought I'd play around with it a little bit as I was recording for you guys. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on uh, creating a shadow effect. And we're going to call that, uh, we're going to call this video um, shadow. Or, no, I'll call it shadowing. That makes more sense, shadowing. Just remember, always work with layers. Layers are the most important thing. You don't have to start with a green screen picture for this. You can start with any picture you can uh, knock the background off with. And if you heard me earlier, I did mention the Magic Extractor, and that's under Image, Magic Extractor. Look back through my YouTube channel, you'll find a video on that. I know I've done that early on. Uh, that's a very easy way to extract people from a background. So until next time, folks, as always, stop by the website, jackstechcorner.com. Hey, click on the forums, if nothing else. You know, Go in the forums and sign up and, and be there. Uh, if you don't want the DVDs and you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the web page, you can also click the donation button. A lot of people like to uh, throw some money in the donation pill, and uh, it definitely helps us out with web hosting fees and software and uh, everything else we got to pick up for these shows. So take care, and until next time, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, keep playing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.